What's going on everyone? Kyle here from kylehandy.com. Welcome to another video. If you're new here and you wanna learn more about building your real estate business, generating leads and selling more homes, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'm gonna share with you seven of my best tips on converting for sale by owners into listings and we're gonna start right now. All right, well, let's just jump right in. Would you like to close an extra four to six homes a month? Of course, who wouldn't, right? Well, that's why today we're gonna talk about for sale by owners. Now, I know what you're thinking. You might be thinking this is a method of the past. Kyle, for sale by owners doesn't work. It's a dead lead source. But I kid you not, for sale by owners is still very much alive and there are still agents closing for sale by owners every single month. And I'm gonna show you today how you can do the same exact thing. Did you know that the National Association Realtors did a study and found that 92% of for sale by owners end up using a real estate agent to sell their home anyways? Additionally, in my market and every other market that I've talked with agents on my team in, there's about 100 for sale by owners that go on the market every single month, if not more, in some of the more populated areas. This means that for sale by owners provide a consistent source of leads every single month. And the best part of all is that they're either free or very low cost to go after. Another reason why for sale by owners are such a great source of leads is that they're already motivated. We know that they've got a desire to sell as long as they can get the price that they need to get. Outside of expired listings, which I rank right up there with for sale by owners, I can't think of another lead source that helps get you in front face-to-face -face of sellers every single month. All right, so with the why out of the way, let's just jump right into my seven tips. So first off, we've got follow up. This is honestly one of the biggest mistakes realtors make when working with for sale by owners. Most of the time, a for sale by owner will not list with the realtor right away. It is a follow up, a long term game. It is definitely a marathon, not a sprint when working with for sale by owners. The other thing is a lot of real estate agents will make it halfway there. They'll build a great relationship with for sale by owners, whether it's through providing value or talking to them over the phone. The for sale by owner will say, hey, you know what? I really like you. If I do decide to list, I'll give you a call. Don't believe it. They're not going to call you. They're getting you off the phone. It doesn't matter if you have a great relationship or not. You've got to be persistent. Persistent. Even if they tell you that, you need to be persistent. The other thing that I'll say about follow up is that the leads get easier to speak with the more times that you've spoken to them. So your first call is gonna be way harder than the third call, which is gonna be way harder than the seventh call, which is gonna be way harder than the 15th call, right? So as you get to build a relationship with them and you're checking in, you're providing value, the calls will get easier. Also, another little side note about calling for sale by owners is they typically tend to have a higher answer rate than a lot of other lead sources just because they don't know if it might be a buyer on the other end of the line, so they're more apt to picking up the phone than a lot of other lead sources. Now that's not to say that they all pick up the phone because trust me, I've called many for sale by owners that don't pick up the phone, which is probably a telltale sign that they need an agent anyways, but they do tend to have a higher answer rate. All right, number two present value to the seller. You must have a servant mindset. This is where you throw your salesperson hat out the window and you truly just try to provide value and be helpful to that for sale by owner. The odds are on your side that eventually if you've provided enough value to the seller and you've followed up, you are going to get the listing. Some common ways that you can provide value to that for sale by owner is by giving them a market analysis. Give them some comps that are in their area so that way they can kind of see what their home should be priced at. Additionally, you can give them some of the legal documents they may need like the seller's disclosure or if it's an older home, a lead-based paint disclosure. Also, when I set up a face-to-face -face appointment with the seller, a lot of times I'm gonna be giving them contacts like my photographer's information or painters or anything that they may need to help get their home looking as best as possible. Essentially, what I try to do is be the for sale by owner's agent without actually being their agent and of course giving them any kind of legal advice or anything like that since I'm not truly representing them, but just giving them as much free advice that I can give to them without being their agent. The reason why that is, is there will be a day when they do decide that they do need an agent 
and you are gonna be the agent that they call. All right, number three are things not to do when you're on the phone with the for sale by owner. And if you want more information about my script on calling for sale by owners, I'll go ahead and attach the video up top here. But there's three things that you should never do when you're calling a for sale by owner. And first off, this is just my opinion, but I don't believe that you should ever bait and switch a for sale by owner or give them BS and tell them that you're looking at it for a buyer you're working with or anything like that. Be real and honest. And again, if you wanna see my for sale by owner script, check out the other video that I did. The other thing you should never do over the phone is try to convince the seller that their idea is crazy. There's a whole lot of scripts out there that teach you how to try and convince the for sale by owner that their ideas don't make sense and how yours is a much better proposal and all sorts of things like that. But realistically, what I've found is that when I take a value-based approach and I'm just trying to be the most helpful real estate agent that I can be, even if they've not hired me yet, I tend to get so many more phone calls back two, three, four weeks after that for sale by owner has not sold their home. Another thing that you should never do is watch a video this far and not hit that like button. All right, the fourth tip, take what you hear over the phone with a grain of salt. The seller is probably getting blown up by lots of other agents. They're going to say whatever they think they can say to get you off the phone if you don't have a buyer. Your only goal of that call is to get face to face in front of the seller. There is absolutely no way, at least in my years of dealing with for sale by owners, that I've ever picked up a for sale by owner just by talking and convincing them over the phone. It's always after I've met with them face to face. Also, when you get face to face with the seller, there's two questions that I think are really powerful that will help you build trust and rapport with that seller. The first question you can ask them is, when you first saw this home, what did you fall in love with? And the second one is, when you sell this home, what are you going to miss the most? Now, the reason why these two questions are so powerful, especially when you're face to face in front of the seller, is it starts to bring back nostalgia and they will associate that nostalgia with you as their agent because most likely no other agents that they've met with or seen have asked them those two questions. Tip number five, use a good dialer system. Now there's three dialer systems that work well with for sale by owners and I'll list them from top to bottom and I'll rank them in the order that I would use them in. Number one is Vulcan 7. This is the most expensive option of the bunch, but it runs for about $250 per month if you're on a 12 month contract or up to about $300 a month if you're going month to month with them. Now I'd really only recommend spending this much if you're also going to be calling expired listings, which I would recommend that you do, but Vulcan 7 can do both for sale by owners and expireds. So for the price and for as good of a system that you're getting, this is top of my list. Next on that list is Espresso Agent. This one's a little less expensive. It runs about $155 a month, which is on special, but I usually see that special running pretty often. And it does a lot of what Vulcan 7 does. And it's actually owned by the same company as Vulcan 7. It's almost just like a light version of Vulcan 7 for a little less money if you wanna look at it that way. Uh, and then my third option would be the Red X. All three of these systems are great systems and I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. In fact, just getting into the game is probably gonna do you more good than harm with any of these three, but I would definitely recommend to go take a look at each one and see which one's the right fit for you. All right, well, let's just say that maybe you don't wanna spend the money yet for for sale by owners. You wanna kinda of dip your toes in the water, so to speak, to see if this is a right lead source for you. There's also all sorts of free ways that you can get for sale by owner information and just hand dial them. I'll go ahead and list out the ones that I know of, and if you know of any that I didn't talk about, add them to the comments below. So the ones that I know about are Zillow, newspaper classifieds, yard signs, Facebook Marketplace. Now the thing with Facebook Marketplace is you have to get a little different strategy there. Sometimes you'll see that they don't include their phone number and they want you to just message them. So in that case, I do have a script for your message that goes out to for sale by owners on Facebook Marketplace. And basically it's a very simple script. It just goes like this. Is your house still for sale at, and then put the address. At which point the seller is most likely going to say yes. And then you just type 
when is a good time to call you? This typically will get you the most responses. You don't wanna to put too much information out there. Again, your goal here is just to get the phone number so you can get them on the phone and then use the script that I talked about earlier. Some additional sources are Craigslist, fsbohotsheet.com, militarybyowner.com, forsalebyowner.com, and fsbo.com. Again, if you know of any that I didn't list, put them in the comments below. Number six, allow the for sale by owner to go through the pain. Sometimes as real estate agents, especially when you know that you can help that person out, you want to try and just sell, sell, sell to get them to use you because you know that you're going to help them sell their home faster and for more money. But sometimes you just have to let them go through the pain of seeing what it's like selling it on their own. When you do this and you don't oversell your services, they'll see what a pain it is to have to schedule their own showings and work with unqualified buyers. And then if they even had a contract or an offer that was presented to them, they start to realize that they're a little over their head when it comes to understanding all of the terms and repercussions. Or a lot of times if the seller is just not getting showings on their home, which happens fairly often, they'll start to question their marketing and they'll start to really understand what a value it is to work with an agent at that point. All right, tip number seven, you have to ask for the business. Now, when I say that, I'm not talking in the very beginning on the first phone call, probably not even that first face-to-face -face appointment that you're having with them. But then along the way, you can't build too much of a friendly relationship where you don't ever ask for the business because then most likely you may never get it. You've got to plant the seed in their mind that yes, you're going to help them. You're going to provide value to them regardless. But if and when they're ready to use a realtor, you're going to have their back. Now, some other tips, these didn't make it in the seven because I feel like they're kind of cliche and they're said all the time, but they are important is one, don't give up. I mean, you are going to get beat down. You're going to get a lot of no's before you get yeses. But if you stay consistent, and that's the other tip, uh, and you just continue to make the calls, build the relationships, add value to these for sale by owners, you are going to get calls back, I promise you. And these are listings, guys. Listings are gold in our business. Four to six listings per month is more like five to seven to eight deals per month because you're gonna get more listings off your signs. You're gonna get buyers calling in that are unrepresented. You can do open houses, all sorts of great things that you can do when you obtain a listing. All right, well, that's it. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this video. If you are going to do some for sale by owner prospecting or if you've ever ever done for sale by owner prospecting. And if you've got any questions, make sure to add them below and I'll be happy to respond. And to learn more about building your real estate business, generating leads and selling more homes, start now by hitting that subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. See you next time.